All right, so I missed one thing in my better playback individual resolve tutorial. It was mentioned by Reliable that render color cache output will help force a cache on adjustment clips. So basically, what am I saying? So this little blue line that is representing a cache clip. Basically, what caching is is a pre-render of what your did all your edits you did in the Fusion pages on the edit page. So it plays back really smoothly like this. That's what it, that's what it is when it's cached. Or usually, it's pretty smooth. But if, if we play the same thing, which is this is just a copy of it here, it's, it barely plays back. Look how it just tanks, and you can't even see it. it doesn't update in the viewer very well. So how do we do this? And so the way that we want to turn on render caching is we go to playback at the top, we down to render cache, and then we turn it to either smart or user. Smart will automatically start caching clips, the ones you're working on, and the ones that you're not working on in your timeline. While user is more focused on the ones that you are working on in the current moment. And then once you turn either your smart or user on you can go to your settings you go to master settings and scroll down here you have optimized media and render cache where you can even choose a little bit more of the settings that are here so i have enabled ca background caching after five seconds so when i'm not working on the timeline and i just have the, the program open it will start render caching other clips that have not been cached and here it will automatically cache transitions in user mode it's very important if you're using transitions from the effects library and you want them to cache that would turn that on and automatically caching fusion effects in user mode will cache your adjustment clips in your fusion clips so it'll automatically start putting that blue line above all the clips that you have but sometimes when you're working on something it doesn't start to cache this clip so how can we force a cache onto a clip you can actually just go over to it right click it and hit render cache color output and that will force a cache that, to start happening upon that clip and so once that red line turns all the way blue we have a really really fast preview of our animation in the preview that's up here so now we can see that and yeah, look at that look how smooth it is so it's pre-rendering these clips so where do the pre-renders go so we go up to davinci resolve go to our preferences we go to our preferences system and we go to media storage it will show you where your clips are being cached or where they're being held so if we go to this part on to my computer so it's my, it's my video folder and this is all the cache clips that I've had over over all my projects and once you're not using the project anymore you can just delete these caches these caches and it'll be fine you know, do is pre cache those clips in other projects again but you're not gonna open those projects again there's no reason to have all this stuff so you can just delete this stuff but fortunately for me I have my render cache the first file that it goes to it's gonna fill up in my external hard drive so you can also do that and it should be good all right, that's just all I wanted to go over Caching is very important. Now I'm going to send this to everyone that has playback problems in the comment section to my videos. And so if you are here, welcome. This is my second channel. Uh, please subscribe. Yeah.